So today I'm just going to keep it very short because it's raining right now and I don't want my camera to not be okay. So today we also did another forest therapy walk. So that's the second one we've we've had while this training has been happening. And it's kind of interesting because I have this understanding of how the walk works and yet still that doesn't really distract me from having the experience of being led and fully exposing myself to the potential of changing, of um, opening up whatever comes up for me during the walk. So I find that very interesting because that's something that I kind of was a little bit not concerned about, but I was just wondering how exactly that works, how if you're if you know how something works, often I think it takes away from the experience itself, but in this case it didn't. And I think a lot of it can relate to the naming of, in this case, you know, plants and flowers and other such things. When you actually know the name, you don't usually um, know it, so to speak, as well as you might if you just if you don't know the name and you ha actually have to observe it. You know, you look at a tree and you're like, oh wow, that's a maple. What characteristics does a maple have? What does it feel like? What does it look like? What color do, do the leaves turn? What do the leaves feel like? All sorts of things. So yeah, that was a, a really amazing thing to discover and I'm so happy that I was able to. Something else that came up was just this this age thing again and I hate to be the person to I don't know what constantly bring it up I really feel like I am constantly defending myself and I'm not saying that's a bad thing but I just feel like some people judge based on age as does everyone as I judge of other people I think it's harder when you're in situations like these where people are more likely to understand you, more likely to accept you. Yeah, so there's a little moment during today where I just got like a little fired up about really wanting to make sure that I actually didn't really say anything to be honest, but I, I just wish I was able to communicate a little bit better my sincerity in doing this and my authenticity and I guess overall my commitment to doing this work. One other thing I wanted to mention, a lot of stuff went on today that I just don't have time to talk about like I said, but as we were having a content session in the, this past evening, a few hours ago, um, I had this feeling that we were going to be leading some sort of a walk. Um, tomorrow. I, I don't know why nobody told me anything. I just thought it's probably gonna happen. So as I expected that was gonna happen and the only thing that I had thought that was gonna be difficult or challenging was one of the sections within the forest therapy um, standard sequence which is called the pleasures of presence and I guess I feel like in certain ways that it's the beginning part of the walk and you really have to be extra present and very articulate with your words and conscious of your word choice. So that's what I felt like would be the, the hardest thing. And I just had this thought kind of run through my head. It's like, oh, I, I'll probably get, get that one because that's what I obviously need to practice. and. What I'm, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, because I'm not concerned at all, but that's the only word that I can think of right now. The thing I'm most curious about, learning how to do. So I did end up getting that, and I will be leading a little section tomorrow. And I've just kind of been preparing, just not really much, but just kind of thinking about it and um, 
reading over some different things. And I have this kind of similar feeling as I did when I started actually doing the tiny house project. It's like this feeling of this is awesome and I can totally do this. I was telling someone else how excited I am to make mistakes 